Who built the Great Pyramids? How? Why? Questions many have attempted but seemingly failed to answer. Although claimed as tombs, with the different internal chambers within the largest, Khufu, named in representation of this purpose. Interestingly, Khufu, or Cheops, is the only one of the three pyramids with internal chambers. The other smaller two merely have tunnels beneath. An enigmatic box, whose lid has long been lost to history, lay within this enormous structure, long claimed to have been the sarcophagus of Khufu. However, although suspiciously small, no one seems to be able to explain how they got it into the chamber in the first place. It is as if the pyramid was built around, as it doesn't fit through any of the known entranceways. Since the 19th century, when these chambers were first rediscovered, a tremendous amount of research, though it must be noted, always supervised by official Egyptian antiquity academics, nonetheless, remarkable discoveries have at least been partially shared with the world. Most notably, Gantenbrink's door. Yet the tomb of Osiris, where this once inaccessible tunnel led, was, once the media was permitted back into the location, found empty, claimed by officials as being found conveniently vacant. A room only discovered thanks to 21st century technology, according to mainstream Egyptologists, was somehow looted. However, there still lay many mysteries within this most intriguing of structures, and we would expect at least one, or possibly many more, which no matter how long it takes us to rediscover them, will be too big to hide. For example, although we once thought the tomb Gantenbrink discovered was inaccessible, the chamber at the top of the structure, one of considerable size, estimated at 30 square meters, is so inaccessible. It was only found with technology used to register cosmic rays. a technology usually utilized in high-energy particle physics, capable of tracking particles called muons, produced when cosmic rays strike atoms in the upper atmosphere. These incredibly sensitive detectors were first developed for use in particle accelerators, but they have also been used to gaze into the inner bowels of many geological and ancient artificial features. In December 2015, Physicist Kunihiro Morishima of Nagoya University, Japan, placed detectors inside the Queen's chamber to detect muons passing through the pyramid. Thus, any large chamber still hidden within the pyramid would be detected due to a higher register of muons than expected from denser angles. The chamber's discovery was corroborated by two other teams of physicists. All three teams observed a large void in the same location above the Grand Gallery. It was a big surprise, says Teyubi. We're really excited, he continued. The researchers say it might even be made up of two or more smaller spaces. Teyubi suggests that it could be, quote, a second Grand Gallery. It is a discovery which we are finding highly compelling. The Pyramid of Menkura, the smallest, yet by no means least interesting of the Great Pyramids of Giza, claimed to have been built by the Egyptian pharaoh Menkura some 4,000 years ago. The pyramid's origins, however, like the many other giant and perfectly carved structures and statues found throughout the Giza Plateau, no one seems to be able to explain how or why such figures within known, well-studied history accomplished such feats. With the entrance to the Chapel of the Cult, exposing just how much of a challenge this construction would have been for our copper-welding ancestors some 4,000 years ago. Lined with megalithic sandstone blocks, with some well over 100 tons in weight, the remains of basalt casting stones strewn around their feet, either disturbed by invading parties 
or simply fallen from where they once stood, in front of the megalithic blocks, all now exposed to the elements, with additional styles from other, now-lost civilizations littered all around the pyramid, indicative of its rediscovered importance by other now-lost civilizations, who we feel clearly came and went since the pyramid's original constructions. This extraordinary section of the ruins are predictably rarely discussed or studied. We believe this due to the inexplicable nature of the surrounding ruins, in addition to further supporting claims that the casting stones found upon the pyramids are not only covering megalithic blocks of an even larger scale, but were a later addition, just like that of the unfinished polygonal masonry, making up additional casing stones around the entrance of the Menkura pyramid itself. Furthermore, Menkura also contains inner chambers, just like that of the world-famous Cheops. Yet rumors that only Cheops possess such tunnels persist to the modern day. And one wonders why. Why was Menkura clearly focused on by several different conservation efforts? Why is it the only pyramid with Peru-style polygonal casing stones? Who could have possibly built the entrance tunnel? or indeed, the pyramids themselves. And why is the pyramid largely, and it would seem purposefully, overlooked? We find the possible motivations highly compelling. There are many places upon our planet that were once home to the many ancient cultures that we are yet to unravel. A large number of these places clearly showing the erosion of an enormous antiquity with some even rendered unrecognizable, slowly slipping back into the geological features in which they were once placed amongst. However, some of these civilizations were seemingly aware of this fact of time, deciding to create the largest stone structures to have ever graced the Earth. These monuments, predictably outlasting the many smaller sites, which have slowly been reclaimed by nature. These surviving sites can still reveal to us some astonishing things regarding our past, and indeed, our future. One begins to wonder whether these monuments' size was a planned strategy for their apparent longevity, or whether their size served another, perhaps more profound purpose. Nearly all of the unexplained or seemingly impossible ruins which dot every continent on Earth are almost always attributed to a civilization incapable of such feats, and often attributed to the same mundane purpose for creation, with rock-cut structures, this almost always being a tomb. Tumulus Hill being a good example of this. Also known as the Hill of Casta, this enormous feature is not a natural formation. Amazingly, this hill long thought to have been a natural feature, is actually a massive man-made structure. Additionally, the original stone structure, once buried beneath millennia of strata, is actually a 500-meter-long, precisely constructed stone boundary, forming an almost perfect circle, encapsulating what has indeed been explained away as a tomb Many pyramidal structures all over Earth create compelling alignments, and although these mysterious structures, mounds, and monuments have been explained away as mere burial chambers, the truth is, we just don't know. And the question remains, what were these enormous triangular structures used for? Guarded by sphinxes, most probably Anubis, amazingly, the size of Giza's pyramids are relative to the distance of each of Orion's stars. Is this a mere coincidence? Along with our recent research into clues left regarding an ark, be it Noah's Ark or the Ark of the Covenant, a theory we touched upon previously has begun to present some rather compelling leads connecting these structures, the alignments, star constellations, and a possible purpose for the pyramids. If one pursues past postulations regarding stargates, gateways to an apparent godly realm, etc., etc., 
you begin to notice links between many ancient beliefs, ancient structures, ancient covenants, and possibly interstellar travel. The double hexagram, now largely recognized as the Star of David, is also the shape realized when connecting many ancient sites upon our Earth. Is this shape also an illustration of an arc? Connecting or visually overlapping two pyramids into one point? What was the Ark of the Covenant? Did it power the pyramids? Did it once reside within the Great Pyramids? Many questions left still remain unanswered, although we finally may be on our way to answering them. <laughs>